Hello, in this section of the course we're going to take a bit of a look at strings and then after that we'll be able to get on to um, actually doing loops and things like that so it will start to look more like a real computer program. Uh, strings are, um, are used for dealing with text basically. So it's, it's the, name, the word string uh, in programming lingo means some text. Uh, it's like a string of letters you could say. Let me show you a, a slightly quick way of creating a new project first. So I'm going to go to File, New Java Project. I'm going to fill in a name. Let's call it Strings. And I'm just going to click Finish straight away. Uh, so the Java version is set to my default anyway, and that's what I want. I click Finish. Because we're using Java 11 here, it asks me if I want to create a module. And we're not going to use that for the moment. So I'll click Don't Create. And there we've got our project. So I can do the same as usual, right click, go to new class, call it app, put it in a package which I'll make up a name for, I'll call it application as usual, and tick to say that I want public static void main finish. Okay, so we just missed out one screen, but it's a slight time saver. So we've seen that you can write things like int um, yeah, cats equals seven, or we could write double height equals um, I, you know, 5.3. So uh, these are just variable names that we make up. And these are primitive data types, int and double, used for storing uh, whole numbers and floating point numbers, respectively. Both of them can store positive or negative values. And they both have a sort of minimum, minimum or maximum value that you can store using them. And you can find out what that is if you just search for Java primitive data types and look at that page. What if we want to use text? With text, um, we use a variable type called string. And this has a capital, um, f has an uppercase, first case, it has an uppercase, first letter. Let's say string, and I'll call it name. So again, this is just the name of a variable. I'm just making it up. I'm calling it name, and I'm going to set. I'm going to assign that the value um, John because that's my name. Uh, so let's let's get rid of these. Uh, why does string have an uppercase first letter here instead of lowercase? Well, the answer is string is not a primitive data type. It's actually a thing in Java that we call a class. Um, and in that respect, it's similar to app. App is a class we're creating ourselves. String is a standard class that's part of uh, the Java API or application programming interface. It's part of Java, essentially. So uh, string is a class and it's, it's a variable type here. So it's a type of variable, string. All right, so we can output that with sysout, system.out.println. Let's output name, and let's just run that. And it says John, as you might expect. There are lots of things that we can do with strings, and we'll start looking at those in the next video. Until next time, happy coding.